Have you ever heard of Solomon, the king gifted with wisdom, but whose harem of 1,000 women led to his downfall? Solomon, the wisest, richest, and most powerful king in biblical history, made Israel great, but had one fatal flaw, his insatiable desire for women. This desire clouded his judgment and ultimately led to his decline. God granted Solomon the gift of wisdom, transforming Israel into a powerful kingdom full of wealth and robust trade relations. However, Solomon's harem, consisting of 700 wives and 300 concubines from all over the known world, brought political intrigue and foreign influences, challenging Israel's pure faith. Solomon's reign began with promise. Born to King David and Bathsheba in 990 BC, Solomon was chosen by God and mentored by the prophet Nathan. David declared Solomon his successor, but the young king had to secure his position through strategic purges, eliminating potential threats. Solomon fortified his kingdom through military strength and alliances, notably marrying the Pharaoh's daughter. One night, God appeared to Solomon in a dream, offering to grant any wish. Solomon asked for a discerning heart to govern wisely, pleasing God, who then bestowed upon him unparalleled wisdom. This wisdom became legendary, attracting people from all nations. Solomon also undertook massive building projects, most notably the construction of the first temple in Jerusalem with help from Hiram, king of Tyre. This temple, along with his magnificent palace, consolidated Israel's status as an economic power. The fame of Solomon's wisdom and wealth spread far, drawing figures like the Queen of Sheba, who tested and marveled at his wisdom. Solomon's prosperity included vast wealth, impressive architecture, and literary contributions, such as Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, and Song of Songs, which offered profound reflections on life, wisdom, and love. Solomon's wisdom became legendary. One of the most famous stories illustrating his discernment involves two women who came to him, each claiming to be the mother of the same baby. Solomon proposed to cut the baby in two, giving half to each woman. The true mother, driven by her love, begged the king to give the baby to the other woman to save its life. Solomon then revealed the true mother, restoring the child to her. This judgment solidified his reputation as a wise and just ruler. Solomon's reign brought unprecedented prosperity to Israel. He forged alliances with powerful neighbors, including a marriage to the Pharaoh's daughter. His most ambitious project was the construction of the temple in Jerusalem, a magnificent edifice dedicated to God built with the finest materials and craftsmanship. This temple became the center of worship for the Israelites and a symbol of their national unity. Despite his accomplishments, Solomon's weakness for foreign women led him astray. His harem brought foreign gods and practices into Israel, turning his heart away from God. As a result, God warned Solomon that his kingdom would be torn apart after his death. This prophecy came true as adversaries arose, including Jeroboam, who would later rule over ten tribes of Israel. In his later years, Solomon recognized his mistakes and sought repentance. Ecclesiastes reflects his realization of the futility of earthly desires, emphasizing that true satisfaction comes from God. After a forty-year reign, Solomon died leaving a legacy of wisdom, but also a fractured kingdom. His son Rehoboam inherited a divided Israel. Legend has it that Solomon possessed a magical ring, known as the Ring of Solomon, given to him by the archangel Michael. This ring supposedly gave him the power to control demons, which he used to help build the temple and perform other tasks. While these accounts are not part of the biblical canon, they add to the mystique surrounding Solomon's figure, portraying him as a man of extraordinary abilities and profound wisdom. 
Solomon's story is a testament to the complexities of human nature, the consequences of turning away from God, and the enduring importance of wisdom and repentance. In the end, Solomon's story is one of grandeur and humility, wisdom and folly, faithfulness and idolatry. It reminds us that even the wisest among us can falter, but also that redemption is always within reach for those who seek it. His life and writings continue to inspire, caution and teach, making Solomon a figure of enduring fascination and relevance.